I have a two year old son. Okay. Okay. Why well, you know it's a dad? Um, I was a house. He wanted me to be a housewife when we first met, and I decided to kind of change and wanted a career. And he so didn't want changed. that for me, so he gave me an ultimatum. Okay. And it's to stay at home and be a housewife or leave and have a career. So I left. Bruh. Girl, I'm the one to smack you in the face right now. <laughs> What's up, people? This is Boladola Ojo. How are you guys doing? Thank you for joining this video. I appreciate you for coming in to watch this video. Um, now, this is if your first time you're joining my channel, please subscribe to the channel and make sure you comment, share. If you like the video, like the video. Now, when I opened this video up, I said to you guys that, you know, there's this guy that gave his wife an ultimatum uh, to stay at home or get or she or or leave. And she decided to leave. She decided to to, to get divorced because she didn't want to be a stay at home mom. Right. And off of the back, some of you are like, what are you crazy? Are you nuts? Why would you, why would you choose that? Why would you choose to um, not be a stay at home mom when someone is paying your bills, paying all the bills, not just your bills, but all the bills. And it's just all he's asking you to do is be a stay at home mom. Now, as you can tell, just for me telling you this, I don't think there's enough information in the video to make a judgment. And in the video we're about to react to, I don't think there's enough information. However, let's watch the video and let's react to it. I want to give a shout out to Kendra G Media. This was an interview she did on her podcast. Uh, I think it's a you know this live thing that she does, singles live or something like that. But anyways, let's jump into the video and react to it. Let's go. Jenny, how old are you, honey? I'm 34. 34. What you do for a living? I'm a nurse. Nurse. You have any kids? I have a two-year-old son. Okay. Okay. Why well, you know it's a dad? Um, I was a house. He wanted me to be a housewife when we first met, and I decided to kind of change and wanted a career. And he so didn't want changed. that for me, so he gave me an ultimatum. Okay. And it's to stay at home and be a housewife or leave and have a career. So I left. Girl, girl I'm the one to smack you in the face right now. <laughs> so let me ask you this: Was he paying all the bills? He was. So, and did you, when you guys got married, that was the plan? Yes. I mean, so basically, crazy, you had him, your husband, he was your husband? Mm -hmm. So he was your husband? Yes. You guys had a family? Yes. You agreed to be a stay at home yes. mom. What made you want to get a job? Um, when I had to constantly ask for a couple of dollars to do stuff, but here's why the change when it happened. Was no, I can't do certain things that I wanted when it was, right. no, we can't, we don't have enough money to do right. activities because, you know, one income. And I'm like, well, this is not the lifestyle that I want to live. Like, I just don't want to sit at home and fold clothes and not actually date and have the extra money to do stuff. Like, I just didn't want to fold clothes all day long. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. All right. So we've seen that video and... I'm sure you guys have your initial reaction. So let me just give you guys a second. Go ahead in the comment section. Tell me what you think. Did he do a right thing by giving her the ultimatum or did she, was she uh, right to have left the, the marriage given that, you know, she was not getting the things that she wanted from the marriage? Um, so who was right or who, or who was wrong? You know, tell me your, your thoughts, you know, share your thoughts and your, you know, in the comment section. Now, here's the thing. As we saw in the video, um, it started off with, there was an understanding before they got married. The man made it clear that he wanted a stay-at-home wife for in his in his household, and she agreed. So that means there was no deception from the man. He was clear, and she agreed to it, and she was content with it at the time. And as you can tell, I don't know how long they've been married, but they have a two-year-old son. So I'm guessing at the time of this video, at the very least, they've been married for two years, or they've been together for at least two years, because the child is two years, right? And the other part of it is that she said that, you know, when she made the decision to go back into the workforce, it was because she mentioned some very, some three very specific things. One, um, she had to constantly ask for money to do things. She didn't have, she didn't have her own money. Two, they didn't have money. They as a unit didn't have money to do activities because there was only one income. And three, she didn't want to just keep on doing chores all day, folding clothes in the house all day. So those are the three major reasons that, again, like I said, the video is very short. We don't have 
full picture and full context of the video, but we're reacting to what we know. So here are my reactions. The first reaction I had was, girl, are you dumb? Why would you leave a, a marriage where he is paying all the bills? You don't have to slave like the rest of us and go to work and do all that stuff. Given, don't get me wrong, it's, I always say this, um, being a wife and a you know, housewife is also work and money brings control. Who has money has control. That's the honest truth. So maybe she was feeling like she didn't have the control. And if you, from the three things she listed, she said, number one, she always ha had to ask for money to do things. So she didn't have control of what she wanted to do. Even if she says, I'm going to do it. And she doesn't want to ask for permission, quote unquote, to do some things. She ha kind of has to ask for permission because she needs to ask the person that has the money to do the things, right? So I feel like that part was like control. She didn't have control anymore and she was not liking that. Number two, she felt like they were missing out as a family because they, you know, she saw themselves doing more stuff as a family, but because they don't have two people income in the household. They have just one income to cover for the expenses that they currently have as a one income household, you know, the lights, the um, water, electricity, gas, all the bills you pay, Comcast, whatever you pay, right? It leaves very little room for, for activity. If you're paying bills yourself right now, right? You know for sure that it becomes very difficult to add somebody else to your expense if that person is not bringing up extra income. Already, you're paying for the bills that you that 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 you're paying for, right? As a, as a regular as a one person, but then you add another person, so some of the bills would increase, maybe not significantly, but it, it would increase. You buy more food, you use more light, more gas, more water, and then you bring a child to the mix. Now you have separate things that you have to pay for, you know. So it becomes extraneous on the on on this one person. But I don't think he was complaining. They did not have money to do activities and that was a problem because when she asked let's do this let's do that he says well you know you don't have money whatever whatever and number three was she was getting bored i won't say she was being lazy but i'll say she was getting bored because she she, she was she was clearly indicating that she doesn't want to do one type of work but she'd rather do another type of work so it's not not being lazy i think it's just more about she was bored she was in the house all the time, folding clothes, according to what she said, right? Folding clothes, tending to the kid, being a housewife. And she was bored. She wanted to engage with other people. She probably was coming from a space where she did that before. These are the reasons why I think she exited the relationship, the marriage. Now, do I think, just as my reaction, do I think those reasons are enough? Um, no, especially if you agree to those things, you agree to the, the terms of the marriage before you guys got married, because he didn't force you to get married to him. He ex and from the video, you could see that she, she said that he explained to her, you know, he told her this, you know, I want you to be a stay at home wife. You agreed to it. And then you, she made a change. So the, the, these things didn't just happen, didn't just appear. I think she didn't consider them enough before she made, the, she agreed to it. I give kudos to her for making, for realizing where the issue was and, you know, actually taking action to it. I would never advise anybody to get divorced based on those reasons, especially knowing what, you, what we know, right? However, she was unhappy. And if she was getting unhappy in a marriage where there's an ultimatum in place, it's going to be serious friction and it's going to cause way worse, way worse problems in that marriage than, than there is right now. That is my assumption because listen, you know, she's not happy. She's folding clothes. She's staying, she's being a stay at home mom. She's clearly unhappy. Everything else will just piss her off. You know, the guy will breathe somehow and piss her off. Ask her, you know, she was asking for money. I don't have it. Piss her off. Let's go do this. We don't have the money to do that. Piss her off. You're not even making enough money. She started doing, you know, comparing him to other people doing X, Y, Z. All of that stuff. So I, I want to commend her at least for that very reason that she took the, the hard pill. She was like, you know what? She's giving me an ultimatum. I'm the one that make the change. I'll divorce the guy. It's okay. Cool. Um, I'm hoping the guy is better off for it. And I hope that child is not suffering from the decision. But I want to just commend her for making that decision. Now, let's talk about the guy. So the first things first, let me, let me kind of talk about 
commend the guy for being uh, tr- sticking to his traditional tra- the traditional ways, right? He believes as a traditional man, as we you know, based on what the definition of a traditional man would be in this day and age, is to have a how you know how be the provider, hundred percent provider, and have his wife stay at home. You know, I want to just commend him for doing that. I mean, that's and then the thing about it, he didn't pretend from the get that that is what he truly wanted. He put that up front. That was part of the deal in getting in um, getting married to this woman, right? So that was the part, part of the deal in this woman getting married to him, right? So he was clear about his about his intentions, and it wasn't like oh, he just. After they got married, and no, he made it clear during, you know, and she agreed to it. So I want to commend him for that because that's, you really find a lot of people say all this rubbish on the internet. Oh, a traditional man, traditional man. And they actually are living a different life because they're not really ready to execute like a traditional man. And the fact that he even took it as far as giving her an ultimatum that, listen, if you don't, if you're not with this, you can go, you know. I commend him strongly. But here's the part where I am, uh, and just this is just based on what we've listened to, right? What we've watched. If you want to be a traditional man, um, I want to just suggest that you are a traditional man that has the means to be a traditional man. And I think that was part of the rift um, that, that, that caused the... the the change that led to the divorce. Because if you if you if you go back to the three things that she said, out of the three, two of them had to deal with money. Number one was she always had to ask for money to get stuff. So he didn't like give her an allowance. Like traditional men would give you an allowance. You know, that's part of being traditional. They you don't have to come to me constantly to be asking me, give me five dollars, give me two hundred dollars, give me this. No. They will give you an allowance to do what you gotta do. Do your hair, do what, and if that money finishes, that's on you. I can top it up for you or whatever. But the real traditional man, you know, especially those that want to practice it fully, they will give their woman an allowance because the woman needs it. She's not making an income. She needs to still spend money, right? And the control comes when she's having to constantly come and ask you for money. Well, give me this, give me that, give me this. That's control. So I feel like that's a part I'm not too with it with him. I think, you know, I don't think he was by, by, by the full measure of it, um, uh, necessarily practicing tr- the traditional man or more of like the controlling man. You know, um, that's what I think. That's what I feel. Again, we don't have the full context of the video and this is just what I'm thinking. And you guys can, can you know share your thoughts you know disagree agree but i feel like it was it was slightly a bit controlling that's part one part two where i'm not too keen on the general on the guy you know trying to be a traditional man i you know is a part of the um the activities you know as a family unit you know i think he didn't have enough money period maybe he didn't do one or two things one he did not set the expectations um, of what his income can cover with the wife, meaning um, they're making what eighteen thousand dollars a year. Let's assume that, but you want to go live in a bedroom, uh, an apartment that you're paying two thousand dollars a month. You know, you're the man. You should be setting expectations. Expectations that listen, based on our income, and if we're going to bring a child to this world, and we're living in this space, we're going to be having to pay rent in a seven fifty dollar apartment. So we can pay light bill, you know, all that stuff. You know, I don't think he did set that expectation. I think even when things were about when and I, and I might be wrong, I think his income was was far was far too stretched too thin to actually be a traditional man. What you're saying as a traditional man is this, right? I want to put, I want you to be a household wife or stay at home mom and be comfortable. So you and my kids will be comfortable. We would still function as a family unit that does things, but I got the expert. I pay for it. That is truly the traditional man. And not a lot of people can do that, especially not in America, not in this day and age. But if you, the thing is, if you can do that, it comes with setting the expectations 
and the measure of things you want to do or the things that you want to have or the things that you want to pay for, setting that very well in your family. Like, okay, listen, we're not having kids for another five years because we don't have the income and I need to finish school. You know, I'm paying all the bills in the South, but I need to finish school so I can get this degree, so I can get this better job, whatever. This is the plan. So I'll be pulling out every, every time we have sex. I'm wearing, you know, there has to be a clear expectation, not only with, I want to have you as my wife and a stay-at-home mom. There has to be a, a clear expectation set in the family unit as, okay, given that you are a stay-at-home mom and I am the provider, I'm the traditional man providing in this house, here are the expectations of the things that we can afford so that we can still have a good and comfortable life. And I think he didn't do that. So that's why I'm like a bit, you know, so those are my thoughts. Um, let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are. And like I said before, who was at fault, him or her? And do you think that, um, you know, women nowadays like the, the whole glamour of stay at home, but they really don't understand what it, what it takes to stay at home and be happy? staying at home or they can they're just saying it oh i want a man to pay all my bills but really deep down they don't want that they want to be independent and work make their own money do all that kind of stuff you think that as well let me know in the comment section thank you so much for watching i'll catch you on the next one bye